Welcome to my public journal. Today I'm super, super excited about what I discovered and I'm going to share with you shortly. But before we get into it, one other reason why I'm excited is because I got a new tripod today that comes with a remote and this is really, really helpful for me as I try it out now because in the past, it's difficult to shoot yourself. Like you see me sitting behind the cover right now, but I have to get up and go click on the button and make sure that I can see myself. Like I can't see myself because I'm using the back camera, but then it's a back and forth, back and forth. But today, fortunately, I got this new tripod that comes with this Bluetooth or yeah, it's Bluetooth uh, remotes that I get to start it as and when I want. So super, super excited. But let's get into what I did today. So today I was browsing on X or Twitter and I discovered Amazon Q developer and I decided to check it out and see what it was. And I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of how it works and also how to get access to it. But it blew my mind. Not like I didn't expect something like that from Amazon, but then the fact that the others that I've seen so far are not free, so I haven't gotten the opportunity to try them out yet. I was actually contemplating using GitHub Copilot, but I haven't started, I haven't subscribed to it. I'm already on the ChatGPT Plus subscription. So at one point in time, I was wondering whether it's necessary to subscribe to another tool for that purpose. but. So far, I've tested Amazon Q developer art and I'm liking it because it's integrating directly into the ID. And that is what I think about when I thought about building code snippets, that instead of having platforms that you'd go outside of your ID or your terminal or the console that you're using to code, if you had everything in there, then it will be way easier for you to work with. And just by exploring the what Amazon has implemented for Q developer, I actually got some inspiration on exactly how to approach code snippets in terms of the VS Code extension and even for the others as well. So super, super excited. Let me show you a demonstration of how this Q developer is like and how you can also get started using it today i was browsing on twitter or x and i discovered amazon q so there was a tweet about amazon q and i decided to check it out and i realized amazon q has the developer the coding assistant if you should call it so i was a bit curious i've seen github copilot and i've seen a couple of people use it i've actually contemplated trying to get a subscription of github copilot but i have not done that yet so as soon as i saw this i wanted to know what's the pricing is it affordable what are the capabilities and all and i am quite impressed i've started using it so if you are new to it you can go ahead and look for aws.amazon.com slash q slash developer or just google it so it's called q so amazon q and we are looking specifically for Amazon Q developer. And the interesting thing is that you can use it in various formats. So I am a fan of VS Code and that's what I use for development. Therefore, you can, if you are like me or you are using any other option, you can go ahead and install VS Code extension. I've done that already. So I'll quickly jump into VS Code to show you how it works and i'm pretty much impressed with the work so here we have the chat version so what you know chat gpt to be like and gemini and co but this time around directly within your vs code and this is what makes it interesting and in fact just by seeing how this has been implemented i've gotten a couple of ideas on how i want to make the code snippets vs code extension this is really great and now i'm even wondering if i'll leave my vs code to go to chat gpt on the browser to query something unless if i absolutely need to otherwise there is a chat within vs code that i can have access to 
I want to believe that by now someone would have also created a plugin or an extension that allows us to use ChatGPT in here. I haven't seen any yet and I haven't explored it yet, but this is really amazing. So for instance, I just I was just curious, wanting to know how it works. I've never used SQLize before. In fact, I have never implemented my SQL database in any of my ExpressJS project. So I wanted to see how functional this is going to be and how easy the explanations are going to be. The interesting thing I found was this, that if I search for anything, so I asked a question, help me create a SQLize model for, okay, let me say a SQLize users model. Then wait for the answer, generating your answer. Says here is an example. Let's wait for the example. So it has generated this for us. We say user.js, this file. Let's go and put this code inside. To put this code inside, I don't even have to copy and paste. And that's the idea that I also got for code snippets that I'm building. And it's just a matter of clicking here. It's going to insert. So we have insert at Keza and it's going to insert it exactly where your Keza is. You also have the copy and you can copy it but click on insert at Keza and boom it's in the file that is exactly what i was thinking about when i was thinking about building code snippets and now i've seen it in action so i'm so so excited about this but the other thing that makes it powerful is that now if i want to write any code and trust me all this code were written by Amazon Q. So I start writing something and it creates it for me. So we could delete everything and start all over again. I say const, then I'm writing express. Express is equal to. So now it hasn't been activated, I believe, but to activate it, you use alt C. So it's starting to make suggestions for me. So I hit my tab to complete this and I can go ahead and call something else. It's suggesting this for me. But let's go back to what I was creating initially. It was my SQL. So let's do that. My SQL2 is equal to, it shows it for me. Then another wonderful thing I found was that you give it a comment, you pass your comment and it generates the sample or suggests sample code for you. So I go ahead and say cons, no. So no. Okay, ideally I would create the app, but let me write a comment, say connect to my SQL database. And sometimes even for the comment, it gives you suggestions on the comment. So if it is not coming, you use the odd C and you see now it's suggesting what I should do for creating the database connection. And yep, if I hit tab, this is how we are going to be able to create the database connection. We'll put in the details here. After we are done with the connection, we may want to start something. Maybe say create a query to retrieve all users from database. That was its suggestion. If I hit enter and it gives me that query, then for the execute. So all of these are suggestions by the Amazon Q and this is really amazing. I'm still exploring it, but then I'm really enjoying it. And I know that GitHub Copilot has been doing this for, for as long as it has been in existence. But then this is the first time I'm getting to use Amazon Q and this is free. I have checked their pricing. So it's, they have the pro version, but what I'm using currently is free. So if let's say quickly, I think there are things that are paid, but I, I see this as a wonderful addition to our toolkit. And now I can literally increase the time or decrease the time that I spend developing applications drastically by using it. So we have the pro version, which is $19 per month. I think the GitHub Copilot is like, $10 per month, if I remember correctly, but here, what you get access to code faster with code suggestions, free for public CLI completions, 
review code lines it says use where you work your id cli the aws console slack and more then you have limited monthly access of advanced features so let's see what the advanced features are the charts debug code add test and more so you are limits you have a limit of 50 interactions per month oh my goodness i've already started <laughs> consuming all of these by testing it out so i think that is where the caveat is but then i think it's overall a great experience developer experience i believe and i'm enjoying it i'm looking forward to exploring it further and see what addition or what how well it helps me in my journey so try and test it out yourself it's pretty easy all you need to do is go to amazon look for amazon q developer so you can google that and install the snippet and start trying things out by yourself and let me know what you think in the comments what do you think about amazon q developer and those of you who are watching and you have experience with any of the other code assistance tools right within your test editor please go ahead and drop it in the comment section let us know about it if you have experience with say github copilot or if there is any other that i do not know about maybe this is not even news but then i just discovered it so i'm excited about it but go ahead and drop in a comment what you think about this particular one or any other that you have used i hope you're enjoying the series and today i'm actually using this coding assistant to assist me in writing my code so i'm super excited about it but i hope you're also excited about all of this and also following the progress that i'm making and being inspired on this journey to help you do more if you're enjoying these videos please give the video a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet i don't know what else you're waiting for go ahead subscribe to the channel to show me some love and leave any comments any words of motivation any requests any questions drop them in the comment section and i'll be happy to respond to you thank you and i'll see you in the next video bye bye